Hello, I'm Jack Jones, editor of Pensions Insight magazine, and with me is Paul Leandro, partner at Barnet Waddingham. Uh, Paul, Barnet Waddingham was named um, the DC Technology Provider of the Year at our um, recent awards, so, so congratulations on that. Thank you. We were well, we, we were delighted, uh, particularly actually as we're we're not really recognised as a technology firm, mm. um, but it is something that we do, um, and as shown by the award, we do it pretty well. Mm. Um, and obviously, I mean, that the need to communicate with members is driving a lot of change in the DC um, tech sector at the moment. Um, so what's the, what's the, kind of the ultimate aim of all this uh, innovation we're seeing? To inspire people to save. Um, I think if I can just take the moral high ground for a moment, um, I think it's fair to say that at the moment, as an industry, uh, we failed to really engage with people as to the reasons why they need to save over the long term. I think it's unfair to think of somebody working and working very hard for 45 years to saving even not enough money just to get by. Mm -hmm. So I think as an industry um, we do need to encourage to, uh, people to pay more, uh, to contribute for longer so that they do have enough money in their pots um, to do something with when they come to retire. Mm. Yeah, so can you tell us a bit about the tools that you are putting in the hands of members and, and employers to, to do that then? Yeah. Well, we've, um, we've developed our online engagement uh, and education tool, which we call Me Too, mm. um, getting quite a lot of traction in the market. It's, um, it's proving quite popular with, with our clients. Um, and it's, it is a system that's designed to uh, sort of engage and educate and empower people to make the right decision. Mm. Um, it's something which is, uh, is personal, so if you're really going to engage with someone, um, you need to make the system personal. So when somebody logs on, uh, it, it essentially reflects themselves back on themselves. So all the imagery is based around their age, the system knows um, their contributions, how much they've got in their workplace pension scheme, uh, both DC and DB. Uh, it knows the contribution structure of the DC scheme. So somebody can automatically and immediately see their pension savings in one place. Mm -hmm. um, they can tell the system of other pension savings that they have as well, both DC and DB, uh, and start to model against aspirations. Because if we think that people are going to be inspired to save or encouraged mm -hmm. to save, it needs to be set against the aspirations that they have. Mm -hmm. uh, and if they can set those aspirations logically, uh, and we've got some interactive tools, a bit of gamification to allow people to, to model what their aspirations can be at different times. And if they can see that those aspirations are achievable, hopefully that inspires them to pay more in. Because mm -hmm. uh, for, the, for the majority of people, contributions is the most important thing. It's the main driver behind the outcome, um, particularly in the early years. So if we can encourage people to pay in more, um, and get the added incentive of the employer contribution, plus tax relief at the moment, uh, and understand about the cost of delay, not paying in soon enough. Uh, we're going part way there to helping people to have enough in, in their pots at retirement. Mm -hmm. So it's fair to say that those are the, the main messages that you're getting across to members? Yeah, so, so thinking of how to frame the messages and what messages to convey is a really key part of Me Too, mm -hmm. because we understand that people need to receive messages at different times mm -hmm. um, and if you think about long-term saving it's a composite problem but it's not necessarily a complicated problem that's that's one of the challenges we have as an industry is those negative connotations to the word pension and people thinking that it's just too complicated mm -hmm. it's not there's only three factors we think that affect the outcome and that's how long you pay in for how much you pay in and the net investment return mm -hmm. That's it. And as soon as somebody gets that, then they can make rational decisions. And they, they get it, and they think, actually, yeah, I can make these decisions. Um, so Me Too is framed in a way to make sure that those messages are conveyed at the right time. So if you're 20 to 30, key messages is, is why stay in, i.e. affecting the time frame. If you're aged 30 to 50, the main message is contributions, how much to pay in. And then when people um, get to be 50 years plus, that's when they engage, really engage with their, their pension pot because retirement starts to become a tangible thing. Um, and in the new world of the pension freedoms, uh, a pension is no longer a linear thing. 
you know, people are not, um, well, they're no longer um, aiming for one particular date and time to convert their savings into an income. Um, they're going to see their, their, their big pot of money in chunks, we mm -hmm. think, um, and they're going to have you know, a chunk um, that they'll want to take at a certain time to pay off a mortgage, um, to pay off other loans, to go on a nice holiday, home improvements, dare I say it, actually generate an income for later life, and a chunk of money to keep um, aside for a rainy day or for succession planning. Mm -hmm. So it's a different view on the pension pot, and Me Too allows people to sort of create a picture in terms of what retirement or drawing and accessing benefits at different times might look like over a period of time. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really where it differentiates, I think, from other systems out there at the moment, is allowing people to really um, plan um, how and when to draw benefits using an online system which knows their finances. Mm. And what about for the employer? What are the tools you put in their hands to understand their DC pension? Yeah. So this is coming back to what Mark Butcher was talking about in the earlier interview, um, in that if an employer's pension scheme or wider financial savings benefits um, are going to reach the corporate objectives, whatever the objective might be, if it's retaining and recruiting good quality uh, people, or if it's genuinely to help people into retirement, um, the employers need to fully understand their workforce. Um, and we can help them do that based on analytics. So another uh, piece of technology that we've built is our tool that we call GEM. GEM stands for Governance Engagement Monitoring. Um, and that can take data, the general data from Me Too, um, data from the company's payroll, data from the pension providers or wider savings um, providers, um, databases, into GEM to create a true picture of the workforce. So looking at the, the various cohorts within the workforce based on affluence and age, um, and really drilling into the detail um, to understand what members' behaviours are, uh, what they should be to generate the best outcome. And it's only after when an employer looks at the analytics can they identify whether or not there's any issues uh, in relation to pension or wider savings they could choose to ignore those issues, um, or they could choose to address them um, and essentially redesign the benefits where needed. And what GEM does is it allows um, employers to sort of project forward what the impact could be if they make changes, but it also allows them to look in the future back um, at where the changes have been made and whether the desired impact has happened. And if it hasn't, and we can start to look to make tweaks again going forward. So how, how is Me Too going to develop in the future then? Well, I don't want to give away too many trade secrets, Jack, but um, I mean, it, I'll sort of bring that back and talk about sort of, you know, what, what motivates us. I mean, we, we're not motivated by gathering as, as much assets uh, as we can under management. You know, we, 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 don't, we don't do that. Uh, what motivates us is, is essentially doing the right thing and, in, and encouraging people to save mm -hmm. uh, uh, and make rational decisions. So we've built a system, uh, Me Too, which is agnostic um, to the pension scheme or third party administrator. So if, uh, if an employer does want to use Me Too for its pension arrangement, it can plug into trust-based schemes, master trust schemes, or contract-based. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be build out to plug into other third party administration systems. It will be able to cope with the introduction of the lifetime ISA, if and when that happens, um, and build out into uh, wider savings. Um, so not just to concentrate on long-term savings, but to help people with well, essentially debt management, mm -hmm. short-term, medium-term, and long-term savings. Paul, thank you very much for that, and congratulations again on the award. Thanks, Jack.